All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? If you're watching this content on my YouTube channel, my SoundCloud, my iTunes, and you are not subscribed to my channel, man, take that love elsewhere. If you're on my channel, you're watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. It's important to me. We're trying to grow. You see, we're trying to do something special around here, and your support is so appreciated. So please, if you're watching this video, subscribe to my channel. If not, you don't deserve this exclusive content. I'm sorry. I'm giving that real. I'm giving that honest opinion, a very respected sports opinion, and a growing respect in a hip-hop opinion. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, you ain't helping me no way. I'm cool on you. Go get this content from somebody else. We are talking super teams here. We're talking LeBron James and what he has done in the past and what Draymond Green is calling um, LeBron James out for. For those who don't know, the Golden State Warriors are celebrating their well-deserved NBA championship. They beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in five games um, behind big performances from their MVP, Kevin Durant. It was a look, man, a five-game series, but nevertheless, it was a pretty good series. Um, we seen the Cavs struggle the first three games, kind of turn it around in game three and lose a tight one. We seen them blow blow the Warriors out in game four and then the Warriors regrouped and just ended this thing in five games the Cavs and the Warriors have had a history of trolling each other for those who don't rem remember I just did a video on how LeBron James in the past had the three to one cookies remember that the Warriors had the Cavs up 3-1 last year in the playoffs and um, the, the Cavs came back behind LeBron James's back-to-back -back 41 point games in one game There was Kyrie and LeBron that went for 41 at the same game in game five I believe and LeBron had a Halloween party and he trolled the Warriors with the cookies in the um, In his parade last year in the Cleveland Cavalier parade last year LeBron James had a shirt on called the ultimate Warriors shirt and now Draymond Green has a quickie shirt on and the quickie shirt represents the fact that this is a five game series. It wasn't that difficult for us in comparison to the year before or the year before that when we did win the championship and the Cavs y'all just won that big of a challenge to us this year. All right. So with all that being said, LeBron James responded to Draymond Green's quickie shirt. If you haven't seen the video, check out that other video for a more detailed break, detail breakdown. Um, LeBron James responded to that quickie shirt but with, from Draymond Green by saying Draymond. Is that what your girl said? You a quickie in the bedroom? All right. So we're there. And then I think Draymond Green probably is a little tipsy on stage. Might be a little drunk. He might have been off that hitting. He might have been off that jack. That Whatever it is, he's celebrating the championship for Golden State. And he's at his parade. And he took the microphone. And he brought up LeBron James and Super Teams. Again, I think Draymond might be under the influence. He was under the influence last year. at their, or well, the Two years ago at their parade. He admitted that. And it looks like he might be a little turnt this year, and who can blame him, all right? Draymond was like, look, super teams, LeBron, you created the super team. What are you talking about? We got this formula from you. And I, at that point, I had to stop Draymond Green. I had to cut that footage off. I had to cut that video off because I'm so sick of people saying LeBron James was a part of a super team, all right? When was he a part of a super team? Comparing what LeBron James did, with what Kevin Durant just did, it's not the same. Let's look back at what LeBron James did. When he went to Miami, right? He joined the Miami Heat team that had won 47 games. Might I remind you, Dwayne Wade felt like he was on his, he was on his last legs. Chris Bosh joined that team as well. Chris Bosh had never been out of the first round of the playoffs. Hell, he had barely been to the playoffs up until that point in his career. Um, they brought in eight new guys total that year. Remember, at one point in that season, they were nine and eight. And I think the game against the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas, remember when LeBron bumped Eric Spolstra? Um, they, that's not a super team, a team that had to struggle to get it together with so many new guys on that roster. That's not a, a super team. You think LeBron, when he went back to Cleveland, that was a super team? Do you remember that Cleveland Cavaliers team a few years ago? They had Kyrie Irving, but they had the worst record in the NBA. Remember, one part of the LeBron coming back to Cleveland was the fact that they had the number one pick in the draft. And when LeBron James joined that team, it was Kyrie who had never gotten close to the playoffs. As a matter of fact, they were absolutely one of the worst teams ever when Cleveland, when Le, uh, Kyrie Irving was the star and the focal point of the offense. And they had just drafted Wiggins. LeBron kind of came back because he knew he could play with Wiggins or use that player to trade for somebody of the services like Kevin Love. He ended up getting Kevin Love. When LeBron came back to Cleveland, the Cavs sucked. They had to switch a lot of things around. They traded Wiggins for Kevin Love. They had to go get some pieces. Remember, Deion Waiters was on this Cavalier team. 
Deion Waiters, all due respect to him, he had a good season in Miami last year. But Deion Waiters has been a player that has been bounced around the league and has not proven that he can fit into anybody's system as of yet at this point in his career. So LeBron, when has he joined the super team? Hell, I don't even look at that Boston Celtics team composed of Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen as a super team. What was super about them? They were on the back ends of their career. Again, you had to bring in a lot of people around, like a lot of a lot of older veteran guys to just kind of like Eddie Houses of the world to just kind of round out the roster. There was nothing super about that team either. They just competed at an elite level. You're talking about Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors. I don't want to be the, the LeBron stand here, but this is a super team. Kevin Durant joined a team that had won 73 games the year without the year before without him. He joined a team that that previous year, they beat him in the playoffs after his team had a 3-1 lead. Him and Russell Westbrook had a 3-1 lead on the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals the year before that, last year. And you joined that team after blowing that 3-1 lead? And then let's not forget that the Golden State Warriors were just moments away from winning back-to-back -back championships. They only lost by four. And if, if not for a miraculous shot by Steph Curry, we talking about we be talking about a team that probably be a two-time NBA champions right now that you'd be joining. Also, remember this: the Warriors had already won a championship in this era. You joined that? Not hating on Kevin Durant's decision, but you didn't have to go add eight guys to the team. You literally just switched out Harrison Barnes for Kevin Durant. That's a super team, a team that was all an all-time great team without you. And you go get you're an MVP, uh, one of the best scorers this generation has seen, a top three player in this generation, and Le Kevin Durant joined that. That's a super team. You didn't have to fix anything. You didn't have to work anything out like LeBron had to do in Cleveland and in Miami. You just joined a team that was already great. So Draymond, kill the noise of the super team talks. You guys are the first super team we've seen in this era. LeBron is just a super player and he made teams that would be bad without him by the way that miami heat without that miami heat team without lebron james they'd be a four or five or six seed that this cleveland cavalier team you seen the Cavs when lebron james came out the court i think they lost a 12 they lost 12 points on their lead or 12 points um point differential when he came out for two minutes in this Cavs warrior series the Cavs, this with that team right there in cleveland they're probably a six or seven seed without LeBron James, even with Kyrie and Kevin. LeBron's a super player. He doesn't participate in super teams. The Golden State Warriors are a super team. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. Where else are you going to get it from? Thank you for the time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at